On Saturday, the first place St. Peter Knights were looking for the fifth straight win when they met St. Joseph at Carleton's Keith Harris Field. And that was James Osborne, a former volunteer and student here at Rogers uh, TV. James is the inspiration for the James Strikes Back Bowlathon, which is coming up, at which, oh, we're going to say 30 teams at least are going to be playing in support of youth mental health uh, initiatives. Here to tell us about it is James's mom, Janet Osborne, and Rachel DiBartolo from Partners for Mental Health. How are you ladies? I'm very good, thank you very much. Good. Awesome, yeah. so so obviously uh, uh, James passed away at 18. At 18. Yes, and he took his life. Did, that uh, I said it earlier in the show, it's kind of um, from tragedy, uh, positive things can, can grow. Do you still feel that way about what you're doing with uh, this Bolathon? Yes, I do, because after it happened, I was very, upset and I didn't want other parents to go through what we were going through. Uh, I was searching for information on youth mental health, I was trying to find resources and six years ago it was really difficult to find anything to even help parents at that time what they were going through. So I started a bullathon because I wanted something that was going to bring family and friends together to talk about youth mental health. So some of the kids that were sitting in the background that had heard about this and were feeling the same way knew that it was okay to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really important. Trust me, six years ago, this is probably the last thing I ever thought I would be doing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, um, what? Uh, how much of a game changer has this been then, Rachel, in terms of the money coming in and then the conversation that you're having? Uh, what have you been able to do to change uh, uh, outreach to parents and to families? So the money that we raise from the Bull Fund, um, it goes towards Partners for Mental Health's Right by You campaign. Um, and it's strictly focused on um, doing research and preparing material for parents so that they know how to have these conversations with their kids, what to say, how to help them, um, and it, it's pretty much just it's it's having a really good impact on how, how like on helping the parents um, make that positive impact on their kids as well. Right. I, I I'm just sitting here as a parent and thinking every time because I hear these stories and I feel that is we really need to start the conversation. And so mm -hmm. you're providing parents with how to even start the conversation. Yeah. Can you give us an idea of some of the things you'd be talking to your child? Like is it check-ins? Is it? So yeah, I mean, you know, you wanna you wanna check in with your kids. How are you doing? And you wanna you wanna start with the conversation. Um, to tell them it's okay. You know, mm -hmm. like it's nothing to be ashamed of, and you don't have to worry. We're here. We're gonna support you. We're gonna help you, and by any means necessary. Yeah. No, and that's a great way to start. So people can definitely get information from yeah. you. Yeah. And I think great. too, you know, some of the messaging that's out there now, it's okay not to be okay, mm -hmm. right? It, yeah. It, which is like you feel when you're depressed and my own brother took his life as well when he was 23 and you you don't know what internal conversation is going on where they feel so much of the outsider so alone and like they are literally the only person on the planet going through this which of course is not true mm -hmm. so um, having said all of that this is a pretty joyful event because yes. James <laughs> and his younger brother both bowlers. Yep. You're a bowler. You're not so much a bowler. <laughs> I'm, not, a I'm bowler. not on her team. <laughs> <laughs> so, so walk us through the event itself because it sounds like a blast. Uh, so we have it at Orleans Bowl Bowling Center on Sunday, April 30th, from 12 to 3. People can come in, register. You can set up your teams, everything else. We have a balloon draw. So people can buy a balloon for five dollars, then we get them to pop them all at the same time, and there's a winner in one of those balloons. Oh, Ooh. I like that <laughs> way. What's the, what's the prize? Are we allowed to know, or is that top secret? It's still top secret. Still, okay. I'll get it out of her. But we, but we do have a lot of wonderful <laughs> items up, uh, silent auctions. Avia has given us a thousand dollar voucher. <gasps> Wow, what a great time, the 150th, there's so much going on in Canada, Ex you want to get that. Exactly, we have yuck yucks, we have everything out there, so wow. there's tons of opportunities. Plus, it's, uh, we have the mayor coming in, 
and we have Minister Lalonde and her family and staff all coming to her. Oh. She's been fantastic. Great. She's come out and supported us for the last three years, and she usually gives us a little talk to as well. Aww, so yes. Well, that's great that Jim is going, yeah. because, you know, it's not a party until the mayor shows up. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know what? We didn't even have to provide cupcakes, so it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, it's, and, but we also make sure that the parents that get the resources, and we're providing them with the information to get the resources so they can have those conversations, and we're not shy about it. My younger son, Matthew, gets up and actually speaks about his brother, okay. James. And we have another young lady of one of our committee members that uh, she gets up and speaks as well. And they're very compelling. And it drives home the message. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a fun event, but there's also a reason behind it. I yeah. think it's so awesome yeah. to have that kind of a legacy. You know, mm -hmm. um, it, for people who, the, the families of people uh, who take their lives, you're often left wondering, well, what have we got left of, of that person? Like, you know, uh, same thing, I suppose, with uh, accident. Like, it happened so suddenly, and, and there's no chance to sort of build something. But what you're doing is really remarkable because you're actually creating that legacy. Yeah, and, and, and I think it's important that we support our youth and, and get that out there that, you yeah. know, we're here. We right. really will be here. And for the families, as you say, yeah. right? Like, I think uh, that is that is a big a big focus. You know, you expect as an adult just to figure it out. Well, also, I, I find that, uh, you know, I hear, you know, how can that happen to you? It right. can happen to anybody. Anybody. Mm -hmm. Anybody. So, because yeah. I hear, all, well, not my child. Well, oh. yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, just yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Course, nobody and wants it to be. Nobody yeah, wants child. to be. So let's let's make sure the conversation's in place. So if it does happen, they feel f comfortable. Yeah. And, and I think absolutely. that's what I like what you're doing right now is the idea that you're creating a conversation with everyone to have. It's going to be a fantastic event. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. And fun. And yes. Family. Yeah, exactly. And, yes. and 30 teams on bowling. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Three that hours on a fun. Saturday yeah. afternoon. But make sure you do sign in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's sure right. Exactly. In. Don't show up too late either. That would be wrong. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, thank you so much. And thank good you. luck on, uh, on Sunday, April 30th. It's, yeah. I think it's going to be great. We are going to be back with more daytime right after this. And Jen Hayward will be on the show.